What are the desires of your heart? What is it that you're aiming to achieve in life? Last night I had a dream, and in the dream there was a, full, uh, a room filled with ropes, different kinds of ropes, thin ropes, and people were picking up a rope, and they were starting to follow that rope to wherever it leads. And as they continued to follow, they followed blindly because they didn't know what was at the other end. And this represents the way many of us start on a journey and we start going in a direction, but we're not actually sure what is at the end of that rope. And certainly we don't think it'll bring us happiness. And the other thing is we're not actually really enjoying the journey either. And so I did some research over the last couple of weeks over people and I said, what makes you happy? What brings you joy in a joy? What is it that you want to achieve in life? And when I looked at the answers, many of the answers didn't reflect where people were heading, the actions they were taking. They were following a rope that would never lead them to life and get them entangled and not be sure how to let go. Today, we want to start a three-week journey where we're going to look and see how to let go and let God and set ourselves free. Now, scripture today comes from Psalm 37, verse 4 to 7. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your ways to the Lord and trust in him, and he will act, and he will make your vindication shine like the light and the justice of your cause like the noonday. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. And that's what I'm asking you to do is join me on a journey to not just watch these videos each day, which you find on Rev Scott Bible Coach on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube, but to take a journal and use them to do some introspection, to be still before the Lord, to stop. And by the end of it, we want to be in the place where we've picked up the right rope that leads to the destination we want to achieve. That rope is called Jesus. So please, if you're with me, won't you pop an amen into the comments? Won't you share this with people who also are struggling on the journey? And won't you join me in prayer? Heavenly Father, we pray and confess that we're following a rope that sometimes doesn't lead to life. In fact, we don't know what's at the end of the rope, and we're certainly getting rope burns right now. Help us to stop. Help us to regather our thoughts. Help us to let your Holy Spirit guide us to pick up the right rope that leads to life. We pray this in and through your precious name. Amen.